The news came out that Donald Trump, in fact, posted a $91 million bond in order to appeal the lawsuit that E. Jean Carroll won against him for defamation of character. We were all a little surprised that he was able to post this bond. I mean, we know he doesn't have the cash. Certainly, he can't have the credit to get something like this. So a lot of people thought it was Elon Musk, Vladimir Putin, the crown prince from Saudi Arabia. And it turns out it wasn't any of those folks. It was, in fact, an insurance company where he got this bond. Insurance company called Federal Insurance. That's a subsidiary of a group called Chubb, which you probably heard of. So what Donald Trump had to do with this bond, he has to pay the insurance company a premium, which they will keep. They will post the bond, but not unless they had some collateral some property that Donald Trump had that was unencumbered with mortgages or anything like that, that he owned free and clear, that if he didn't pay back, they would be able to seize that. Now, the reason why Donald Trump hurried so quickly to get this done is because he was afraid that uh, E. Jean Carroll's lawyer on Monday would attempt to seize his properties, and he doesn't want that. But Typical of Donald Trump, he's just delaying the inevitable. So he's got this appeal with this bond. He's got all this money from the insurance company, and he's got a bunch of his property as collateral to protect the insurance company with their money. He's not going to win the appeal. There's virtually no chance he's going to win the appeal. So then what happens? He just pays back the $90 million? He doesn't have it. Otherwise, he wouldn't have posted a bond this time. That money is going to be taken by E. Jean Carroll and her lawyer, and they're going to go on down the street. So what happens to the insurance company? <laughs> well, if Donnie doesn't have the $90 million, well, then they're going to have to seize his shit. See, it's just a matter of delaying it for a little while. Donald Trump thinks he won there, but he didn't. The end result will be the fucking same. Not to mention the fact that he's got to come up with a half a billion dollars in two weeks. It'll be interesting to see if federal insurance wants in on that one. 